and even more so, your, your identity and sense of self a lot of times is all rolled up into your habits, which is even a crazier kind of a messing with your brain in that these little things you do that you might ignore all the time could change who you actually are. So I, I had this question while I was researching the book. I think identity plays a crucial role, but my question was like, well, how do we come to believe things about ourselves? Because when you come into the world as a baby, you don't have any preset beliefs or notions. Um, that's not to say that, again, your genes don't matter. They certainly matter in some sense, like your, your height might be more or less baked into your DNA. Uh, but we all realize that if you grew up in a different culture or a different religion or a different uh, community or household, you could adopt completely different beliefs if that was what you were raised in. And so um, I was like, well, how does that happen? Right? How, do, how does this internal story that we tell ourselves, our identity, become shaped and formed? And I realized that it's mostly through the repetition of that story. And uh, so what you come to realize is that your habits reinforce a particular identity. 